Welcome, the High Priest of Film, Mr. Chris Gore. Thank you, folks. Nintendo you. does not no. equal guns. Yeah, gaming does not equal violence, basically. Well, Nintendo doesn't, but maybe the PS3 or maybe the Who knows? PSP. Who knows? Who it's knows? just not Nintendo. Right, exactly. <laughs> now, Chris, what do, you, what do you have for us first? I'm very interested about the movies today. First, we have The Golden Compass. Uh -huh. Not sure if you caught this one, but this was an attempt to create a new fantasy film franchise. Yeah, well, I know I had actually met uh, somebody from marketing. They were so excited about it before. And the poster, I don't know if you guys remember it, but it was like Daniel Craig and Nicole Kidman and some lions and stuff, and you really couldn't see what it was about and they wanted this to be their new big franchise but it kind of fell short. Yeah, I, I think it definitely fell flat mainly uh, on the area of this is going to sound lame but it's the characters were just not as engaging as the ones in you know Harry Potter or yeah. Lord of the Rings. Or Lion, the Witch, and the Wardrobe which did well. Exactly. I, I feel that it was almost like the film was so big and so opulent that it was hard to relate whereas Harry Potter we see his sort of meager beginning. So you don't think they should make any of the other books into the sequels? Just leave it alone? Cut your losses? Yeah, who knows? Maybe they'll come out directly a DVD or some sort of a Hallmark uh, move, movie, but um, I was not as thrilled with the movie. Yeah. Now, as now we, I did say that it did underperform. It made only 370 million worldwide, which you know is not that much. It sounds like a lot, but not for this movie. And the studio went all out and put a major effort into this release mm -hmm. for the DVD. So, what is there anything interesting in the extra? I'll tell you this: the DVD is really packed with extras. Okay, I mean, it's, there, there's a commentary by uh, writer director Chris Weitz. There's uh, there's all kinds of behind the scenes on every aspect of the making of the movie, including a very interesting behind the scenes on the casting uh, for the film. Do they have casting auditions? The, casting auditions. And stuff, I love those. Uh, that, and even, even did a, a, a behind the scenes on the marketing of the film where they show the junkets and how the whole junket That's process That's interesting because I would really like to see that because I don't understand how that poster, a poster means such a big thing. Don't you agree? Absolutely, yeah. I mean, it definitely set a tone for it and a lot of digital effects. They did a lot of behind the scenes on the digital It was effects. a lot of green screen for that movie, right? A lot of green screen, which I think doesn't really translate. I mean, the actors aren't really, they're working Working with things that are completely imaginary yeah. doesn't always Some people do it work. really well, though. So your bottom line on this? Bottom line, it's, it's worth checking out because it's, it's a packed DVD. Rent it, but don't buy it. All right, now, what's up next? Uh, what's up next? We have Tim and Eric, awesome show. Great, Great job. job! Season one, which, if you're a fan of Tim and Eric, it's one of those things <laughs> where... I don't know. I, okay, I love them. Well, people either love Tim and Eric or they just misunderstand them. They don't really get them. So, you know, how will super fans like this DVD? Well, super fans are already buying two or three okay, copies yeah, I love of that it. face. But it's it's such so strange. It's one of those things where if you've eaten the correct uh, number of brownies mm -hmm. and the correct brownies, <laughs> then this stuff is funnier on the 7th, 8th, ninth, 10th time. And, and besides that, also... Oh, the, John C. Riley's fantastic He's in the so great in the show. And there's a lot of other little cameos in there too. Bob Odenkirk is yeah. in it. He's there's great. lots of features on this, right? I mean, lots of stuff has to be cut on the show to be aired, so there's got to be on the DVD. Yes, the DVD is loaded. There's commentary on there. Uh, some deleted of it's serious. Scenes, Dele yeah. scenes. Deleted scenes and bits that didn't really work or they think didn't work. There's even um, uh, some footage from Awesome Con, which is the sort of alternate to Comic Con in San Diego, in San right? Diego which, which those guys did as sort of a goof. But um, it's, it, it's really a loaded disc. And, you know, uh, they just put a lot of love. Of effort and into well, this I have a feeling team. I know what your bottom line is, but go ahead and tell me. Yeah, no, absolutely. This is a buy, get this DVD. It's awesome. Awesome. Okay, and finally, you have? Uh, finally, we have Charlie Wilson's War, which, yeah. you know... Sort didn't of do so well in the box office, right? Didn't do so well. I mean, it's to me, this is one of those Oscar pandering movies. Yeah, well, it was, like po it was about the war and politics, and it's got these, this big cast of people, but can our generation really identify and enjoy this movie at all? Well, it's interesting, actually, to see this film because it gives you the roots of the terrorists and where they mm -hmm. came from in, in yeah, Afghanistan. Mm -hmm. um, and yeah, it's based on a real guy, so that's it, interesting. It's based on a real guy. Actually, watching the film, I'm going, wow, this would be, make such a great documentary. I'd rather see the documentary of the real Charlie Wilson who helped get funding for the Afghan rebels to, to, to yeah. fight the communists. That's that's the key to my heart. I love documentaries. Right. Anything that's a documentary, I'll watch. And yeah. Maybe they will go off and do a documentary now. I, I wish they would, but there's not a lot of extras on it, just uh, two well, special Well, they're features. watching right now, so I'm sure they've heard your, your word, Chris Gore. Yes. So yes. go make a documentary. But your bottom line on this one? Bottom line on this one, rent it, see it, but uh, they should make that documentary. Awesome. Somewhere. All right, well, thanks so much, Chris. And thanks you guys, make sure to visit filmthread.com for more movie info. Good.